All right, moms and dads. So I just made a video for your students, for your kiddos to have them watch. Kind of hoping that just to give them a little reassurance and let them know. But I also wanted to come on and make a special note to you because I can only imagine how you must be feeling trying to juggle what is your new working life, whether that be you're still in hospital, you're figuring out working from home, you are trying to figure out how you are going to make this work. And I just want you to know that I know every single one of you have a different situation and I know you will make it work however you can. And that's what I understand. That's the one thing I really wanted to make sure that I express to you. Cause sometimes you can't always get across an email, but I know through a video with my voice that you can hear and just see. So I understand. I know you're going to do your very best. You guys are awesome parents to work with. And I know that you're doing everything you can for them and how you can. So if that means you just need them to hang out for the day while you get your work done, I get that. If you can do it with them at night, perfect. That's why I'll have the videos posted and I'm going to keep them up longer. I get it if that means you're going to have to do it the weekend. Again, materials will all stay up. You have everything in the packets. I also get if that means someone else is going to be doing it. Maybe you're going to have grandmas and grandpas helping you out or older siblings and brothers or if you have babysitters. I get it okay I just want you guys to know that and I appreciate everything that you are about to go through which like I was just talking with my sister you guys are now we're adding another hat to your head first you guys were being a worker you're working and doing your job your parent and now you're doing teacher but I want you to know you're not alone as a teacher kind of like when we started when we had information night we're both wanting what's best for your your child and so that's what I'm here for. Let me know what you need. Let me know if something's not clear. Let me know if it just doesn't work right now in the or morning time or daytime. Let me know if evenings are better. I can do my best and I will make it work. I just want you to know that we're probably overwhelming you with so much information just because we as a staff have been overwhelmed with a lot of information and making sure we're being as clear as we can. And so you just know what our expectations are. So again, I want to reiterate what are my kindergarten expectations? So like I said, this could mean, I'm sorry, this is real life. My phone is stopping for a second. <laughs> so like I said, like I said, this is real life. This is going to happen. We're going to have phone calls going up. We'll have dogs. We'll have the kids. So this is just real life. So again, kindergarten expectations for this. I'm going to make a quick little user-friendly, how do I use my Google site? I'm going to show you what the tabs are. Even if you've been familiar with it, I just want to be able to say and explain what everything is for. That's where you're going to find my links for the videos. So like I said, for math, pulling up right now, I will do the lesson with them. And then I'm also, my plan is to have the lesson together and how to complete it. I mean, uh, not saying kindergarten's not important, but a lot of these directions, you will be able to figure out. You'll be able to get this done. And without me, but I'm going to do it with you together in case you want to say, all right, you guys go sit down with Miss Hayden for your time and follow along as she goes. Cause I'm going to try and give ample wait time. So that's my, those are what I am hoping is going to be helpful for you as a tool. So the Google site's a tool, the videos will be on it. Your students will be able to follow along as we go and I'll let you know. And like I said, I'm going to be making a link with a video of how to use my site. How will you find everything? So really, I just want to come on one more time saying I understand situations are so different. I understand you guys are balancing so many different things right now and emotions are crazy. And yeah, it has been a challenging two weeks. And but one thing I can tell you is that everyone at RCS, we love you. We're praying for you all. And we're so lucky that you are our families. So like I said before, I am going to be taking just a little hiatus from my responding to emails and whatnot, just because you know what? I realize I'm way connected to my phone now because technology is just right there in front of us and how we have to do it. So I really hope you guys are able maybe to just take a little step back, take a break and enjoy that time because when I come back, I'll it'll be just a new routine, something that we're not used to. So, and then one last thing I wanna make sure I say is, yes, it was end of quarter. And I guess I know you're worried about work and completing, but just remember really in kindergarten, it's about learning how to the process. How would you figure it out? Making sure it's that it's not so much what they create for me at the end. I want to see how they're doing it during it. So 
just keep doing up the great work. I hope you're able to enjoy this and just another, like for the kids, another calming to hear my voice and not so much through emails. But again, thank you. You got this. We're in it together. We're going to figure it out and have a wonderful spring break.